Okay, let me do this one. Chap, chap. Um, well, it's no more news that um, Daddy Gio's helicopter has been sold off. And you recall that sometime in April, Daddy was supposed to travel with that um, aircraft. And it was said that it wasn't fit to fly. And quite a lot of news came up. Uh, a lot of things were said. And um, one of the things that was quoted that the man of God said was that he would, some people wanted to be bribed and of course that would be the last thing that he's going to ever do. He's not going to give bribe to anybody. Um, that is um, saying that the, there were certain things that ought to have been done on the aircraft that was due to be done and they will not just allow the aircrafts to fly. Well, people have, um, one of the um, things that um, was being said by the authority um, that was that was that was looking after that was in charge of giving you know rights or the um, to give a go a thumbs up for any aircraft to fly, including that of um, the uh, Father and the Lord at the GO. Um, I said that they that there is no point putting anybody's life at risk, not even to now talk of. Um, somebody like um, our own uh, Daddy Gio, you know, that nobody's life deserves to be put at risk. There were certain things that ought to have been changed on that aircraft, and I understand that um, they have requested for them, but they, they, the company that produced or manufactured this particular um, aircraft has said that they produce those parts on demand, and that's has delayed why the air, the, those parts have not been brought in and so they will not want to take a risk as to fly Daddy Gio with that uh, aircraft. Well, um, Daddy Gio has sold off the aircraft eventually. <laughs> Baba does anything, you know, say the man no get, the man no get while at all. Let me tell you one of the reasons why he sold off the aircraft. The one major reason why he sold off the aircraft was because it was gulping so much, taking it so much. And now come imagine, how much do these people who own private jets, who own hangars, and some of them are politicians, not just businessmen. Have we ever thought about it? That the Geo said, the, one, of, uh, one of the fees of these jets is about um, $50,000, and with maintenance and all that, comes to about $300,000 every month. $300,000 every month. That is huge. And the man, JJ Lee, said <laughs> they, they, they have to sell it off and i want to believe that one of the things some of the things that are running through his mind is there is quite a lot to be done recall that sometime in april daddy geo pledged 18.4 billion naira to charity and also pledged um um some amounts to be to be used for feeding people you know, for free free feeding, there are spots in Lagos where there is free feeding. And you remember this, my brother. You know I'm now. Uh, uh, we know we talk, <laughs> but you remember say even that the freeze, even that the freeze came out to commend that the Jew. You know, he knows that these guys they don't go let us. They don't go let this men of God rest. Say ah, you know, you are the one that is supposed to be doing this thing. You are the one that is supposed to be doing that thing. You are the one that is supposed to be doing this thing. You know, love you, bro. But then <laughs> just take it easy. Um, so he, he even came out to commend Daddy Gio saying that these are the things that we are expecting you know that you should do and that sum of money was huge and I tell you the truth is that's not all that the Gio does that is not all that the Gio has done he does quite a lot yes I'm not just talking because um, yes I belong to the same um, to, to the ministry or this or that no even if that's what you think okay it's all right you don't expect me to say any trash here you know about our, 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 our right father in the Lord but then these things these steps that they are taking I think they should be a source of inspiration and motivation for others seriously i see no reason why anybody will single-handedly keep more than one you know of this intensive um intensively um gulping you know equipments i mean i do not understand some people have two three private jets and if the cost of taking care of this chopper this helicopter 
costs about three hundred thousand dollars every month. That is not, and that is, I, I believe that has nothing to do with whether it flies or not, whether it goes anywhere or not. That amount still goes. Ah, well, um, I'm not. It's not like I'm thinking for. <laughs> it's good to be. It's good. Yes, yes. But then there, there, there is, there is what we call necessity. You understand? If necessity calls for it. Yes, the man of God has so much on his itinerary to, to cover. He has so much, so many places to get to. He has, I mean, look at look at where the redeemed Christian Church of God has spread to all over the world. And just like he said to a Jezera reporter then, who was asking him why he needed a private jet to do that movement. Seriously, the, he, he, I remember that the Geo said, um, you don't do you don't do such movements on bicycles and so sometimes or most of the times their itinerary cannot catch up with um, um commercial air, airlines and all that and considering the age of this man you uh, you want to agree with me that it would be ethic having them jump in from one if they were much younger you know those days he was much younger could jump from aircraft to aircraft from airport to airport but now they're becoming aged and one just needs to handle them careful else we'll lose them much long i mean long before they are supposed to much earlier than they are supposed to finish up and leave all right well that is it so uh i believe that the costs I, I believe strongly this one that he has sold again now i'm sure that more than half of that money would have gone for things that are beneficiary to people um recall that also at um, idiaraba the the hospital there the intensive care unit there was equipped by Pastor Adeboye and his wife, and so that's why it's called E Adeboye and Folu. Uh, e and E A and Folu Adeboye's, you know, intensive care unit. And so you, we, we have things like that happening, you know, around. Um, oh, so if you have been wondering why, you know, he sold up the aircraft, and we, then, like I said, as I round up, let this be a source of inspiration for others. There is no point wasting money on things that. Um, that are not beneficial. Remember the Rotary Club four way test. I remember it says, Is it is it fair? Is it beneficial to all concerned? I love that. He said, Will it build goodwill and better friendship to all concerned? I love those points. The four way test. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the fourth one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, pardon me. Well, let's move. Yeah, so that's it, it. Must whatever you're doing, whatever you are doing, and you know, to the average person, you're building a house. You're just building a house. You discover that at the end of the day, you are not going to sleep in more than one room. And look, between you and me, don't let anybody hear. You will agree with me that you are only trying to show off. And you see, you're showing off. It won't last. It's only for a time. It's only for a season. And the children that you feel you are leaving behind will not fancy what you are leaving behind, I tell you. And come to think of it, the light, the world is fast moving. The world is fast moving. And so it's not about what you are able to put together here. They won't go anywhere with you. They won't go anywhere with you. And so please, whatever is not beneficiary if it is taking too much from you even if you had the car if you have the car that is taking too much from you sell it off and buy something much moderate i i i, I am made to know that that trip that baba was supposed to go on that day because he wasn't even told that his aircraft cannot fly i, I think um it was um bishops bishop that came to his rescue uh he used bishop's aircraft to go to um ibadan i think he was could go to ibadan well that's it from our uh, end yeah make sure you share this video share this video with others just share just share just share eh? just share now dear boy do you know favor just share this video let's interact drop your opinions drop your comments let's talk be sure i'm gonna respond all right bye bye